We have all embraced this idea that simply we don't care who gets the credit, we just want to make a difference in the lives of people in our communities that we serve. Several agencies working together to give the port city some relief from crime. Yeah, right now, they're looking to round up more than two dozen violent offenders on federal gun charges. Charges which could lead to long stretches behind bars. These are the details. This is a great day for law enforcement and the citizens of the Southern District of Alabama. Several law enforcement agencies, including the U.S. Attorney's Office, the State Attorney General, ATF, and Mobile Police are working together to clean up the streets of Mobile. We have all embraced this idea that simply we don't care who gets the credit. We just want to make a difference in the lives of people in our communities that we serve. One way to do that, they say, is by targeting one of the roots of this issue, illegal guns. We have convicted felons possessing firearms. It poses a particular high risk to the citizens of our district. A convicted felon with a firearm is a federal offense. David Heisch with ATF says the 29 offenders average about 10 arrests and four felonies each. He says by charging them with federal crimes, they're able to stop the revolving door of catch and release for repeat offenders and make the prison time stick. The complaint we hear often from law enforcement and from the community is that, hey, we arrest them, they're back out in a few days. When people are convicted in the federal system, there is no parole. You serve the bulk of your time. MPD has been making headway over the past few months, putting away violent offenders. Chief Lawrence Batiste says this will make it easier to keep the city safe. He says many of the 29 offenders are people they've had their eyes on and just needed a little bit of help to catch. Truly a great day for the citizens of Mobile and Mobile County. Uh, today we're taking 29 violent offenders off the streets of this community. And by doing so, we'll have a significant impact of what we do. In Mobile, Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News. MPD also says they're not releasing the names of the 29 people until the investigation is complete.